Hey everyone, Nick here. I've got another video for you guys today. This one's going to be a little more uh, informal, a little less structured than the last couple I've done, and it's going to be a little more improvised and ranty. Um, so just bear with me, but this is a video that I thought was important to make, and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. So that's the reason for, you know, being a little less organized on this video. Um, but it, this video is basically a long-term follow-up review of this Radio Master MT-12 radio that I've got. Now on the channel here previously, when I first got this, um, I used it for a couple weeks and then I made a video of it. And when I made that video, I hadn't had any problems and I had a pretty positive impression and I gave what I thought was a pretty good review of this. Unfortunately, after six months of use, I do not have that same positive opinion. And in fact, in this review, I'm going to have some pretty unkind things to say about this radio. And I'll just get right into it. So the reason that my opinion of this radio has changed so drastically in that six months of racing is that this radio has proven to be unreliable. Um, after a couple weeks of using this, I started to notice an issue where the signal would drop out for maybe five to ten seconds at the time and the car would just sit completely dead. The first time that ever happened was in the middle of a main on a race day. And so this radio caused my only DNF of the entire summer season. Um, not only would this radio disconnect randomly for like five or 10 seconds at a time, sometimes the throttle would stick at whatever the last throttle position I had given it. So the first time that happened, was an extreme surprise when I'm on the track and then all of a sudden my car just runs off full throttle and I have no idea why the heck that's happening. It's because of this radio. Now, that was not a problem with this specific radio. It was not that this radio was a lemon and I got a bad one. No, the problem with this radio was a bad firmware that shipped with it. So, I wasn't the only one who had this problem. There were other people on the RC Tech forums having this problem, and there were people on the ELRS GitHub who were also having this problem. And it was a systemic problem. So Radio Master sold a radio to us that had a firmware that caused signal dropouts and full throttle runaways. To me, that is absolutely unacceptable. I have never had a radio, no matter how cheap, perform so terribly. So for a radio that's supposed to be a top of the line radio, it's absolutely bonkers that it would ship with a firmware that causes signal loss and full throttle runaways. If I sound agitated, it's because I am. Um, and so let's get back to it. So I said it was a firmware problem, right? Well, I updated the firmware on this and I updated the firmware on all of my cars that I have receivers in because I had about three or four cars on this radio. But even after I updated all of my cars with the firmware that was proven to work, um, for most of the cars that did solve the issues, but for one car that I had, I would still occasionally get full throttle runaways. Um, and no matter what I did, I tried different firmwares because there were a couple different firmwares after that initial firmware that fixed the problem. Um, there were a couple other firmware versions that I could try, and all of them still had that same problem. And in that car, it was a cheap ready-to-run that I bought. It was a Rolarlo. Um, I took the radio that originally came with that Rolarlo. It's a cheap $30 radio, and that radio did not have those full throttle runaway problems. So it was still a problem with this radio that was causing those full throttle runaways. And so, you know, for me, I do not trust this radio. I cannot recommend anyone use this radio because it is not reliable and it's simply not safe. Um, so that previous video that I made where I had a uh, rather positive review of it, I am delisting that. And if you want to go back and watch it, I'll have a link to it in the description. But in good conscience, I cannot leave that up in the way that it stands and give people the wrong impression about this radio. That's a good radio, a quality radio, that it works reliably. It does not. It is unsafe. Um, so 
that's where I'll end this video. I'm sorry I do not have anything positive to say about it, but avoid this radio at all costs. It's not reliable and you could potentially damage your car or even worse, you could hurt somebody with a full throttle runaway. So that's my long-term update on this radio. I'm sorry it's not more positive, but that's just the way it is.